Evening everybody, hope you're doing well. Newcastle Fans TV. Yeah, hello everyone. So, uh, we all thought we were done for the night. I edited Johnny's video earlier on. You know, take away with the girlfriend, finish work. Going to play around with a new camera that we've got for NFTV. Members will know more about that. But Eddie Howe has tested positive oh, for COVID. So it's a real kick in the teeth for Al and for Eddie Howe in particular because he was going to take charge of his first Newcastle game and he would have been really excited an hour of the moon. Full house at St James's Park against a side that are struggling. End to end football, we're all expecting it. Now, obviously, war flags are going to be there. Probably a message for Eddie Howe as well. It's, it's, it's disappointing. And first and foremost, his health. He spoke about it. He said that he is feeling fine. However, I did watch the press conference back earlier on. And he, it does feel like he's got a bit of a cold when he's speaking. He, it sounds like he's got a cold. It sounds different to when he had his original press conference for the unveiling. But I uh, had to kick in the teeth. But it's going to be handed over to Jason Tindall and... and Graham Jones now. We know that Graham Jones' last three games has been very negative. Very much like a Steve Bruce situation. It was just a mask on. That's all it was. However, I think it'll I think you will still find that Newcastle will be different style of football against Brentford. It's it will happen. I think it will happen. Eddie Howe will be on the phone consistently. Yes, he's not there, but he's going to be in direct communication with the assistants. And I think Jason Tindall more in particular, will know how to Im implement that across the playing squad. Graham Jones has been briefed. He'll know what's been worked on the last two weeks. So I, it's it's disappointing that Eddie Howe's here. His health is more important. But his first game will be away at Arsenal, which, you know, NFTV or at every game, doesn't matter where it is in the country, but it's a sour. It's a little bit of a sour taste left tonight but I haven't said that Lee Charlie's out the club out the door we've seen that of Johnny's video earlier on Ashley's out Bruce is out these are all positives we can wait one more game we can wait one more game hopefully and it shouldn't and I am confident that you'll see Newcastle have a different style of football Eddie Howe's worked on it if he's not happy he'll be straight on the phone it'll be fast paced I'm expecting it to be an entertaining game because Brentford are, Brentford are going to come up and not part the bus they're not that's not that's not what Brentford are about They'll come and try and play us. And you've got Ivan Tony coming to town. And he's probably, if you're a better man with Bile Sports, put your bet on for Ivan Tony to score Newcastle to win. That's my tip for you. He'll score, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's, it's a, I was going to say it's a new era because we've, we've had already, we've, the takeover's already happened, but you know what I mean? Eddie Howe coming first game and we thought, but it's, yes, it's disappointing. That's all I'm going to say. It's very short notice this video, but his health is more important. We can wait one more game at Arsenal. Remember, Eddie Howe was tipped for the Arsenal job many years ago. Well, I say many years ago. It was only a couple of years ago that he was tipped to go and get that job after Wenger, after Unai Emery. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow we've got um, Sam coming up. He's going to have the driver preview for us, talking about the whole squad. And Miguel Miron, of course, only being there this afternoon. The international players will they play tomorrow. Sam will be talking more about that tomorrow. We've got the online team of Brandon. And Steve, so if you're not at the game, tune in with those lads. And then we've got the match reaction uh, and everything afterwards with myself, Johnny, Sam. Uh, one of the two of the others are there. I'm not 100% certain who's actually going to pop along. But as I say, we've got the new camera. Badass camera. We've spent a lot of money on it. And we've got new mics as well, wireless mics. So we've spent a good chunk of money on that. We're going to be doing a 30k subscriber special as well. Once we hit that, which we should be over the weekend. And um, we'll do that probably after the weekend, that video itself. And we'll talk more about the camera equipment and what have you. And uh, achieving 30k. But anyways, have a good weekend, everyone. See you all tomorrow.